Okay. Thanks a lot for joining us this morning. This is another Tuesday, and uh, we are the Network Breakfast, and uh, we hope you certainly do watch this whole video and then subscribe and maybe even uh, click the bell so you'll know when we have another video up. We've been putting quite a few videos up. So at this time, I'm going to introduce each of our members of the Network Breakfast and who chose to be here today, and uh, they'll say uh, good morning and tell the uh, tell you a little about themselves, and then we'll proceed with Zoom Tips and Tricks 19 Hidden Features to Improve Your Video Calls. So at this time, I'd like to introduce Chris Walters. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Walters with See-Through Windows. I provide vinyl, uh, new construction, and replacement windows. Uh, I'm a supplier. Um, I will go out and take a look at the property uh, within 24 hours, give you a uh, quote. Uh, I cover a territory from uh, Port Clinton to the Pennsylvania border, Cleveland to Canton. Um, telephone number is 330-604-0403. Thank you. Thank Windows you, Chris. Doors. Say it again, Ray. Windows and doors. Uh, oh, yes. I'm out of, uh, Ray, I'm out of the door business. The door really? manufacturer went out of business. Wow. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that'll be a subject for another time. <laughs> for today, <laughs> we're going to say good morning to Jeff Hexter, and he'll remind us where he's going to be tomorrow at 9. Where? It's important. Good morning, Jeff Hexter. <laughs> you got to eat breakfast, right? I'm Jeff Hexter with Always Keep Computing. I work with professionals working from their homes who are stuck with their Wi-Fi being wifty, their printer's not printing, and their email not sending. And what Tom was alluding to was that on Wednesday mornings, I grab a table at Jack's Deli at the corner of Cedar and Green. Mm. And from 9 to 11, I answer questions, computer questions for free for whoever joins me for breakfast. And if you want to laugh riot, come join me for breakfast on a Wednesday morning and see what people do. I, I also do weird little problems. Like I had a client call me last week with a, uh, I had trained them multiple times on how to use their Netflix on their TV. And they texted me over the weekend saying, it's, it's still not working. I show up. And of course, <clears throat> one of those computer truisms is, have you tried turning it off and on again? Well, this was, have you changed the batteries in the remote? Replace the batteries in the remote and every button worked. So sometimes they're fun, easy, simple things. Sometimes they're more fun and complicated things. Sure. Jack, Jeff, what, time are, what time are you at Jack Stelly? On nine to 11. I'll be there nine from to nine 11. to 11. If you get there at 10.50, <laughs> I'll only see you for 10 minutes. <laughs> How come I'll I never about that? Uh, putting putting batteries in a remote that uh, that falls under the class of Occam's razor. <laughs> Look I like it up; it's problem. fun. It's fun little thing. Occam's razor. That's what that is. Sure. Okay. Now we'd like to say good morning to once again to Judy Bollinger. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Tom. And I learned something today. I have to check my um, scam spam file before I delete it. Yes, All please. Right. <laughs> Your invite I'm, is in there. Yeah. Okay. I'm Judy Bollinger. I'm a freelance writer and a spam emptier. I um <laughs> I am a I, I'm a commercial writer. Everybody thinks when I tell them writer, they oh what have what book have you written? Well, no, I'm a commercial writer. I work for for businesses. I do um, website content. I do website blogging. I do any kind of email. Uh, marketing that somebody is doing. I write all of that. I also rewrite uh, websites. I'm finding, this is brand new, to finding people have decided that their website is a little stale and they want to they want to rewrite it with a fresh wording. And I've been doing a lot of that lately. And that's what I do. <laughs> Very good. Thank you for joining us this morning, Judy. Judy Thank you, Tom. Number. Chris, you had something to say? Judy, give them your phone number. Oh, okay. My phone number is 216-406-2556. Excellent. Thank you. And thanks for reminding us, Chris. Now we'd like to say good morning to Lee Jackson. Good morning, Lee. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Network Breakfast people. As a strategic connector, I use my relationship management skills to impact the healthcare system. 
I'm looking to meet executives, leaders, and those who serve those leaders to discuss ways we can improve the healthcare system. I like out of the box ideas and use them in my consulting practice. Now I wanna use them in a fully employed capacity to help organizations such as assisted living facilities, independent living, nursing homes, home care organizations, and even insurance companies. If you know any people like that that I can have conversations with, I'd love to meet them. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you, Lee. And we'll certainly pass that along when and if we get uh, contacts that you should, uh, you should hook up with. Now we'd like to say good morning to our favorite Ask Mike personnel. Ask Mike, Mike Bentley. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, all. I am Mike Bentley, and I'm from the Brooks and Stafford Company. And I want to be your resource for your insurance questions, um, specifically those pertaining to health care, Medicare, group coverage, um, one of the things I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, uh, there with the American Rescue Protection Act, ARPA, uh, there is COBRA extended for those who have lost their jobs or their positions due to downturns with COVID. So if someone lost their job and they can't afford the premium of COBRA, uh, the government now provides a subsidy to provide full coverage of COBRA through the month of August until September. So if you know of someone who is without coverage that lost their company health care, uh, refer Mike to them. Be glad to direct them. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Mike. And thanks for being here. Now we'd like to say good morning to Marty Kelbell. We're so glad to see him today. Good morning, Marty. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, and I appreciate being here. I'm a real estate agent with Caldwell Banker, and now it's the time to sell because you're getting sellers are getting premium for their houses. They're going over list price. Mm, nice. And sometimes they even appraise over a list too, so that's a good deal. The downside is you're going to pay a premium to buy another house. So it's, a, it's good and bad in both of that. Also, if you're considering a, uh, building a new house, that is an option, and I can help you with that. Although the cost of a new house has went up substantially because of the cost of the lumber has went up quite a bit um, related to COVID also. So uh, if you decide to buy... Well, uh, lease, uh, whatever your needs are, I can help you with. So give me a call at 216-544-4164. Excellent. Thank you, Marty. Thanks for being here. Yet yeah, last week, uh, Chris updated us on some prices of things. And the one that was shocking to me was uh, uh, two by fours. Yeah. They used to be a uh, dollar and a half a piece and, and probably well worth it. And now the current price for a a two by four is what, Chris? Five to six dollars. Five to six dollars. Can you imagine? Well, anyway, we're glad to keep up to date here. And, and when you stop by here uh, Tuesday mornings at the network breakfast, you get this sort of kind of information going on. So now next we'd like to say to our friend and, uh, and um, a financial advisor uh, would be Rob Lord. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, everyone. I work for Thriving Financial, where we believe money is a tool and not a goal. And we try to give you holistic financial planning and advice, anything from retirement to helping kids go to college, uh, live your dreams, goals. If you want that Florida home or that summer home, we can help you or guide you in that. Um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Okay. I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rob. We appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. And uh, we'd like to say good morning to Ray Antonelli. We can't see him, but we sure can hear him. He's got a lot to say. <laughs> good morning, Ray. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am a reverse mortgage specialist for seniors. Uh, reverse mortgages are very interesting because they allow someone to take out a mortgage on their home. Uh, seniors specifically, and not have to pay it back until they either pass or until they sell the home. 
that's what makes reverse mortgages unique. Uh, I happen to be teaching a class at the Polaris Center in Middleburg Heights next Monday evening. Anyone can attend that class as my guest, anyone who's a part of the network breakfast, of course. Um, and I just want to let, let everybody know that. Uh, in addition, uh, I can vouch for what uh, Chris has been saying with respect to pricing. Uh, my son wanted to build a net zero energy home in Solon. He picked out the lot. Uh, but he could not reach an agreement with the, any builder uh, to build the house uh, for anything close to what the value should have been uh, to get it appraised properly. It was as much as $100,000 over uh, the, the neighborhood pricing. So he couldn't, uh, he couldn't actually build the house. So all he, was, all he was able to do is secure the lot, purchase the lot, and just wait until the pricing is uh, more reasonable in terms of the lumber and, and other things that have gone up in price so much. Wow. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Excellent, thank you, Ray. And Ray offered to do a, uh, a presentation here at the Network Breakfast um, on that very same uh, reverse mortgage uh, subject. And also, Ray, what was the date of your uh, presentation um it is it is may 10th next monday night okay at the polaris center on old oak boulevard off of bagley road at i-71 okay that's may 10th 2021 correct okay now we're going to move on and we're going to say good morning to trina gigax we're so happy to see her today <laughs> let's just let's listen to her for another minute or two good morning trina <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Tom. My name is Trina Gigax. My company is Fresh Eyes Reading or The Pooch Rider. Um, part of my writing is for animals, uh, specifically horses and dogs. But um, the only thing I don't know how to write a lot is cats because I'm severely allergic to cats. So I don't know much about their behavior. But like Judy, I rewrite because I'm a copy editor. So I look at writing that's already complete and I go through it to improve it. Like, like Judy said, when people need a fresh website, um, you know, it's already written and you're just, you're rewriting and editing it to make it improved and more impactful. So that's what I do, training Gigax Fresh Eyes Reading. Very good, thank you. And I you. don't give my phone number out on the internet, sorry, but you can contact me at my website. Absolutely. And you give your website again. FreshEyesReading.com or ThePoochWriter.com. Excellent. Thank you. And thank you for being here, Trina. Okay, now I'm going to share my screen and we're going to bang out these 19 tips and tricks. And you'll want to watch this a couple of times so you get comfortable with it because uh, you'll become a, uh, a master of uh, Zoom meetings, whether you're hosting or not. So here goes. I'm going to share the screen and I'm going to pick this and share, bang. Okay, Zoom tips and tricks, 19 hidden features to improve your video calls today. And this, this is a special thanks to CNET.com and Allison Danisco Rayon. And she wrote this April 28th, 2021. I wanna make sure to, that everybody knows that she helped out with this and she wrote the uh, verbiage. And now we're gonna go to Number one, change your background. Virtually transport yourself to the beach, outer space, or anywhere else you can imagine by customizing your background while on Zoom calls. Everyone's doing it these days. Basically, you go to settings and virtual background and select or upload the image you want from there. However, you do have to make sure that your system meets all of the requirements to do so. And that would be for movies. You could see behind me that there is actually a movie running. It's a it's a, a little movie that's that I use as a background. It's not just a still image, but you have to have a certain type of video card and a certain uh, level of of laptop or desktop or all in one that can handle movies. Otherwise, you'll be you'll be relegated to using still images, which is still fantastic if that's what you want to do. And uh, uh, with all of this, we've got a, th th these 
19 items are a step-by-step -step guide on how to change your Zoom name, profile, picture, and background, and make a breakout room, and many more things. Um, the Zoom video meeting and chat app has become wildly popular to millions of people working, studying, and socializing from home during the pandemic. Despite a number of privacy and security issues that arose alongside the platform's rapid growth, <laughs> It now features end-to-end -end encryption and other ways to protect your account and your chats from Zoom bombing and other privacy flaws. Zoom bombing is when uninvited guests can muzzle their way in to your Zoom meeting. Uh, I've prevented that, and there's ways to do that by creating a waiting room. So, you, so the host actually has to see who it is, and then you allow them in. Tom? Where, yes. where do you find settings? Uh, uh, well, the settings would be, let, we'll move on to that. The settings, okay. yeah, that's coming up. Uh, uh, COVID-19, as COVID-19 vaccines roll out nationwide, Zoom has added new features to help prepare for the future hybrid office as well as helpful tools for presentation, plus more emoji reactions. Whether you've been using Zoom for years or have only just signed up in the last year, there are a number of helpful and fun tips, tricks, and hidden features you can find to upgrade your video chatting experience and make your video meetings a little less weird and hopefully avoid Zoom fatigue and Zoom anxiety. And uh, now we're gonna continue on with the 19 ways to become a Zoom master. Okay, Forgive me, Tom. Um, yes. Uh, Trina raised an interesting point. I don't have a settings button on my screen either, but I was still able to get the graphic up there by clicking on the up arrow next to video in the lower left. That gave me the menu to choose a virtual background, but I don't have a settings button on my screen either. Okay. Um, Stand by and we'll get to that one. I don't want to get it out of order here. That's this, perfectly fine. Sure. And this was number one was change your background. And it says settings, virtual background. Uh, now that I'm sharing my screen, um, I, I can't really click on the, the um, uh, to change it to show where the settings is. Uh, and I'd rather not just explain it. So here, let me move on to the next one. Okay. Here, changing your name on Zoom. If you want to change your name that appears when you're in a Zoom meeting, it's easy. There are two ways, temporary and permanent. If you want to change your name for only the current meeting you're in, after you enter the meeting, cl click on the participants button at the bottom of the screen. Do you find that? Yes. Okay. Uh, hover, hover over your name and click more and then rename. Type in the name you want to appear and click OK. If you want to change your name for every meeting going forward, now you have to go to the Zoom web portal where you sign into your account, then click profile. On the top right corner across from your name, click edit, and that will uh, change it for permanently. Enter the name you'd like under display name and click save changes. Your new name should appear in every meeting from now on, but you can still change it for individual meetings with the steps above <laughs> if you'd like. Okay, three, add a profile picture on Zoom. You know, when, we, when you turn your camera off, there's a picture that shows. Similar to changing your name, you can add a temporary profile picture to any meeting you join or a permanent one for all meetings. To add a profile picture for an individual meeting, after you enter the meeting, click the participants button at the bottom of the screen. Hover over your name and click more, add profile picture. Select the picture you want from your computer and click open. To add a permanent profile picture to your Zoom meetings, go to the Zoom web portal and sign into your account. Click profile. In the top right corner, across from your name, click edit. Under the empty photo icon, click change, upload. Select the picture you'd like from your computer and click open. Readjust which part of the picture you'd like to appear and click save. Um, and this goes for the, the free version as well as the, the uh, paid version or the host type version. 
Uh, number four, mute your audio and turn off your camera by default. I see most of you know how to turn the audio off. You go to the lower left of the screen and you'll find that. Diving in for the mute audio and camera buttons as soon as you enter a meeting can get old. Keep your coworkers from seeing your bedhead or hearing your cat screeching by turning off uh, those by default. To do it, go to settings, audio, mute microphone when joining a meeting. Okay, now it's, it's saying settings again. Um, if you go to, uh, um, if you look, uh, if you move your mouse over the down carrot, there's an arrow next to the mute, you'll see audio settings. If you go next, it'll be video settings. I'm sure that those are the settings they're talking about. They just... They just, it could be settings, audio. You move that and audio settings, bang. And then move your mouse to the, to the right, right next to where it says stop video. And there's a down carrot or a down arrow. And you'll see there's video settings and all the other clickable things there. <clears throat> and that's how that goes. Uh, let's see, did I get to the end of that? Let's see, to do it, go to settings, audio, mute microphone when joining a meeting, and then settings, video, turn off my video when joining a meeting. So this way, as you enter the meeting, you'll be there, but your audio and video will be off. And then you could turn them on as you, as you want to introduce yourself or however the meeting's going. So mute and unmute with the space bar. For example, when you are called on to speak, Stop scrambling to click the microphone button. You can just press and hold the space bar to quickly mute and unmute your mic right from your keyboard. So if you're only going to speak for a few seconds, you can hit the space bar and speak and then hit the space bar and you're, and you could, you're back off again rather than going to the lower left and clicking on the mute and unmute if you choose to do that. If you're comfortable with another way, then there's another way. Okay, turn on the beauty filter, which several of us can use. Me first. At this point, if you know all of your work from home advice about getting dressed and ready, and it's a regular work day, but still don't think you're looking your best, Zoom's touch up my appearance feature may be for you. The filter aims to smooth over your appearance making you look dewy and well-rested. If you've ever used beauty mode on your phone's selfie camera, you know what you're getting. To turn it on, click the up arrow next to the start video and stop video, of course, and click video settings. And under my video, check the box for touch up my appearance. I should, I should go do that now so that I become less scary. Okay, set up a waiting room for added privacy. This is what we were talking about <clears throat> last week to, to learn how to do. You probably heard about Zoom bombing when uninvited guests crash your Zoom meeting and disrupt it. One way to help prevent this from happening is by enabling the waiting room feature so you can see who's attempting to join the meeting before allowing them access. To do so, go to account management, Account settings, click on meeting, then click waiting room to enable the settings. And I've done that so that you'll notice that when you click on the link, you're put into a waiting room. And then I try to get everybody in as soon as they can, as soon as I can. And, uh, and that's how you avoid being Zoom bombed by people who are, are uninvited or got a link by mistake. Okay. Number eight, this is a big one. Create Zoom breakout rooms for smaller group discussion. Split your big Zoom meetings into up to 50 separate smaller sessions with breakout rooms. The meeting host can choose to split meeting participants into separate sessions automatically or manually, or can let participants select and enter any breakout session they like. The host can switch between sessions at any point. To start a breakout room as the host, 
go to account management, that would be me in this case, go to account management, account settings, under the meeting tab, go to breakout room and make sure the setting is toggled on. You'll also see the option to allow meetings hosts to pre-assign participants to breakout rooms. If the breakout room option is grayed out, that means it's been locked and you need to contact your Zoom administrator. And you'll, you'll need, a, uh, you'll need a, a paid account to do most of this. Uh, if you're gonna be hosting meetings for others or you can ask the host of the meeting you'll be attending to create a breakout room if you need to discuss things that the main group won't necessarily be discussing. And, and, and we could listen to this again and uh, until we get it uh, uh, perfect. Okay, share your screen. Of course, that's how I'm doing this, this presentation. Share your screen for a Zoom meeting or to watch a movie or play a game with other participants by clicking the share screen icon. You'll see that in the, in, in the lower, uh, just, just right of the middle, and it'll say share. Uh, you'll have the option to share your entire desktop or just one of the windows you have open. That's what I did. When I create a PowerPoint presentation, I go into the settings of the PowerPoint presentation and do not use full screen. I use window option so that when I open my PowerPoint, it creates a window. So I still have, I still have access to all my uh, Zoom meeting uh, tools and icons and clickable things. Okay, click on the red stop share button at the top of the screen to go back to being a normal participant in the meeting. Hey, Tom. Yes. Um, back one for the breakout rooms, um, rooms. Is that option you have to go in through the, uh, to do that and not the app? Okay. To toggle the well, breakout room? It here, the host can, I haven't done this, but the host can switch between session to start a breakout room as the host, go to account management. Okay. So that'll be in the website then? Yes. Okay, you, have, you log into your account there and toggle that, okay. Yeah, yes, and you'll create the breakout rooms that you need. And once they're created, then you can set them to toggle on and they'll be available for you when your meeting starts. We'll have to try that um, at a later date after I'm done with this because I, I certainly can't do it while we're uh, in the middle of this. Okay, share your screen, we did that. And um, several of us had shared our screen. I think Jeff shared a screen and some of you others could possibly share a screen when you present. And it's up to the host to allow participants to share their screen. So all you gotta do is if you have some background or you have some documents or images or photos, or like in my case, a PowerPoint presentation you wanna, you wanna use, uh, you just ask me to uh, to allow screen sharing, and then I'll click on that, and you could share your screen. It'll look just like this. Okay, react with an emoji on screen. If you're muted muted in a meeting, you can still let the host know your thoughts with emoji reaction. Send a thumbs up or a clapping emoji to communicate without interrupting the a meeting. By default, those reactions have a yellow skin tone, but you can customize that on the Zoom desktop app. In April, Zoom added 40 emoji reactions instead of the six previously available. To react during a meeting, click the reactions tab at the bottom of the meeting screen. Let's see if we could find that. Does anybody see a reactions tab? Yeah, but I only see six. You may need to update your software. Yeah, you'll have to update your Zoom software. How do you do that? That's number 21. <laughs> I thought that was Jack's Deli. Yes, that would work too. It might be, you could, look at, look at what Rob just did. He put up a thumbs up. And, and Jeff is uh, LOL, and, uh, and Trina is clapping or high-fiving, one of the two. Um, so that you'll have to update your Zoom. Now, you could also just go on the Zoom website and download the current version and install it, and it'll install and update the one you already have. 
Kate, I'm not sure what that is. Okay, if the meeting organizer enables the nonverbal feedback feature, participants can place an icon such as a raised hand next to their name to communicate. If they wanna say something, you raise your hand. Every participant will be able to see each other's feedback. Learn handy keyboard shortcuts. For those who don't like clicking around their screen, Zoom has a ton of helpful keyboard shortcuts to help you navigate the app on your desktop without using your mouse. Find commands to join a meeting, start or stop recording, enter full screen and share your screen. More on that uh, uh, in the next panel. Uh, check out Zoom's full list of hotkeys and keyboard shortcuts. So Tom? Yes. I did the raised hand. I don't know if you can see it as though I had a question. So does that stay up there until you answer it or do I disable it, that? No, it'll go away in about five or 10 seconds. None of the emojis remain forever. At least that's my well, understanding. Well, that's not an emoji. That was something that you click on that says raise hand. Oh, now I can click on lower hand. Okay. So that's how I let you know if I have a question during Yes, the yes. If you want to get somebody's attention without interrupting the presentation. So that's not really an emoji. Wait, did I do this one? Yes. Okay. Turn on gallery view. This is what we were talking about earlier. Gallery view lets you see everyone in the meeting at once instead of just the person speaking. To turn that on, click the tab that says gallery view in the top right corner. If the meeting has 49 or fewer attendees, you'll see all of their screens displayed on one page. If there are more, you'll have the option to move between the multiple pages. Change it back I click by clicking speaker view in that same top right corner, which we did earlier uh, in our meeting. 13. Put yourself in the same virtual background as your coworkers with immersive view. I, I, I would have liked to have used the, the uh, image that they had and we could all be in the same mm. background by, by using this particular feature. Zoom's immersive view feature lets you put yourself in the same virtual background as your fellow video chat participants be it a conference room, a classroom, or anywhere else you can think of. If you're the meeting uh, or webinar host, start the Zoom meeting on your desktop. It will be enabled by default for all free and single pro accounts using Zoom 5.3.3 I mean or higher. In the top right corner where you find speaker or gallery view, you'll see the option to enable immersive view. Click Immersive View and choose from one of Zoom's provided scenes or upload your own. Now, in my case, I don't, I don't have that, so I probably have to uh, update my Zoom also because I did not have that when we were looking at the gallery view and speaker view. Immersive View was not up there, so I need to update my uh, Zoom software as well. Your meeting participants or webinar hosts will now be placed in the same virtual background and will appear that way on every participant screen. So we'll all be on the same background, like parked next to each other at a bar, all talking to the same bartender at once. <laughs> It'll be his view of our meeting. Okay, hide non-video participants. On a larger call, your screen can get cluttered with participants, which can be distracting, especially if some don't have their cameras on. Hide the participants who aren't using video by going to settings, video meetings, and check hide non-video participants. Now you'll only be distracted by your coworkers, pets, and children who appear on video. Cool. Use the vanishing pen to highlight without having to go back and erase. Zoom's vanishing pen feature lets you draw on your shared screen to call attention to text or objects, but then fades away so you don't have to go back and erase your markings. To use it, share your screen and click annotate 
on the menu that pops up, click Vanishing Pen. Okay, so I have that. So I'm going to click on Annotate and see if it will do it. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, I don't have it. So I, I really should have um, updated my software before I did this because the uh, annotate, some of it works, but not the vanishing text. Oh, wait a minute. Look what's happening here. Does everybody see that? Some of us are drawing on it. Yeah. Okay, so that was me moving around. Um, but it's not, it's the, the vanishing pen is not part of my choice. Tom, so, I did that. Pardon? I drew those circles. Okay. Do you have the vanishing pen? Um, well, how, how could well, Marty? I got antidote. You will see. Okay, that, that's me. Draw, stamp, here, but erase. It, but it won't vanish. But I can <laughs> you erase. But I can erase it. Is that because Marty has a paid paid option? A paid version? Well, let's no. ask Marty, do you have the words vanishing pen in your menu on the top? No, but I got an undo and I got an eraser. Yeah, me too. Okay, so the vanishing pen is not here, and it's because I didn't update my. Uh, but you can do stuff. Uh, for example, uh, if I'm going to draw, I could draw this, and everybody could see it. So if I was going to. I'm confused how Marty was able to draw on your presentation. Well, he's drawing on the shared screen. But when I go to shared screen, it says host will not enable this feature. But you won't enable shared screen because you're sharing yours. Um, it says it, host disabled participant screen sharing. Well, let's see. Let's see if it changes if I... Nope. All it could do is I'm already sharing, so I can't go back and Okay. Um, yeah, share screen doesn't work for me because you're doing the presentation. Well, Marty's able to. Marty, you have a paid account? No, I don't. Okay. Well, this Marty, is what happens when you click share screen. Well, I haven't allowed that, so it won't happen. That's why I don't understand how he drew on your presentation. Sorry, it confuses me. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure why. Also, I'm able to erase anything he does. Um, Okay, that's me, and now I'm going to click clear, and I can get everything to go. Okay, so the only thing I don't have is the vanishing pen, which means I could write, um, and then it would just disappear on its own. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, that's an interesting thing that we could take advantage of at some point. Uh, use the vanishing pen to highlight without having to go back and erase. So you could have words up here and I could, or someone else can, uh, circle something they want to drill down a little bit deeper on, or I could. 
So, interesting. Now, here's the sample that they gave, but they used the whiteboard. And you see in the middle here, it says vanishing pen. Now, I should have updated my, uh, my Zoom, so I would have had that too. And here's the, you'll see the people lining up over here, just like we are. And then using vanishing pen, you would type or print and it would disappear on its own without having you go back and erase it. Interesting. That's why I put this up for number 15. So I got 15 panel twice. Okay. Record the meeting of uh, to your computer, which is what I'm doing. I'm recording this meeting on this computer. Uh, both free and paid Zoom subscribers can record their meeting to their laptop or computer using the desktop app. You can't record on mobile at the moment unless you have a paid account. Keep reading for more on that. Those recorded files can be then uploaded to a file storage device such as Google Drive or Dropbox or a video, video streaming service such as YouTube or Vimeo. To enable local recording, go to settings, recording, and toggle it on, which is what I did when we started our presentation. When you're hosting a Zoom meeting, click the record icon on the bo bottom toolbar. That's right, a couple more here and we're all set. We're going a little late. 17, record a meeting to the cloud. Uh, if you have one of Zoom's paid plans, which starts at $15 a month, I pay for it by the year. In fact, it was just up a uh, couple weeks ago where I'm starting my second year as a, as a Zoom host. You can take a recording that will save directly to the cloud or to your computer if you prefer. Tap the record button on the bottom toolbar and you'll have the option to make it either local or in the cloud, which is what I do. I click record and it gives me one of two choices and I choose to, to record locally. You can do hey, this on, on either a desktop or mobile. Yes, Trina. That goes back to what Ray and I were saying that we don't see a settings button. Like if I wanted to record this, there is no settings button. Well, do you have a record button at the bottom of the screen? No. Okay, well. Oh, on the, oh, down there. On the bottom right. Or... Please ask the host to give you permission to record. Okay. Yes. That's how that works. Okay. Yes. And without a Zoom account, you could record and keep your, I mean, without a paid account, you could keep your video local and would just record on your computer. Yeah, I think what we should do is we should have another one of these and go over the, the settings and all of the items on the bottom of the screen. So we, we get familiar with those. Okay, we've got a couple more to go here and, and we're, okay. Host a group meeting longer than 40 minutes. On Zoom's free basic tier, group meetings can only last up to 40 minutes. Though one-on-one -on -one meetings are unlimited in time. To get unlimited group time, upgrade to a paid account. So if you're using the free account, and you're hosting a um, you're hosting a meeting. That meeting can only go 40 minutes, and then it'll shut down without a paid account. So it's not it, it can still be valuable if you can if you can pack everything you want to do your PTA meeting or your recipes or whatever or you want to build a cabinet. If you can get it done in 40 minutes or less, you can stay on the free account. To get more though, you're going to need to you're going to need to pay, uh, get an unlimited group time, upgrade to a paid account. Okay. Hosting more than 100 people. My account that I pay for, I'm allowed to do 100 people. I would have to go to the Enterprise Plus edition if we were going to do 1,000 people. Uh, for example, when the network breakfast finally catches on and we, we could have uh, 5,000 people logging in to find out what happens and their interest in the, in the nine of us. Okay, if you have a group of more than 100 people to host for work or school, 
you have to upgrade to a paid professional account. If you upgrade to the highest tier, you can host up to a thousand participants. And that's going to wrap up our 19. And once again, special thanks to CNET.com and the writer, Allison Denisco Royome from April 28th, 2021. Uh, very kind to share all of that. And I'm going to be uh, uh, say thank you for your kind attention. And this will be up on YouTube for us to watch over and over again. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen at this point. And that'll allow us to, uh, to once again. Okay. We're back. Tom, so now. Yo. Is it, is it possible to get a copy of the PowerPoint presentation? Sure. That would be wonderful. Sure. I'll send it to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay. Uh, so for this Tuesday, uh, the YouTubers, I'm going to bid a fond adieu, but the rest of us can stick around for a few minutes. And if we have any further questions, uh, we can take care of that. But for the YouTubers, we're going to say, have a great day. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next Tuesday morning. Thank you and adios. <laughs>